Hello car repair enthusiasts and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. In this episode we're going to do the next story mission where we have this Olsen Grand Club. Hello, I bought a brand new Olsen Grand Club. It's a great car. In the ad it said that the car is great for off-roading, but I have the impression that driving an SUV on the sand dunes was not a good idea. Something is scraping and I noticed a leak. Please do something about it. I need a car for an off-road trip with my friends this weekend. Alright, so we're going to get his car here. Um, yeah, it's, it, there's some problems. A lot of problems. Alright, let's go ahead and move it to the, uh, test path. No oil in the engine. Can that perform this act? Alright, well, let's go ahead and move the car to the lift first. And see the amount of damage that we have here. Alright, we need a new oil pan for a V8. So let's go buy an oil pan for a V8 so that we can even start the car and figure out what's wrong with it. Oil pan V8. Alright. Let's attach this. Everything here looks broken. Alright. Well, let's see if this will at least get the car to start. in shape, so that's a good thing. Alright, now can I take it to the test pad? Alright, we got it on the test pad, so that's a good sign. Now let's see what we have going on here. Missing a rear muffler. Okay, so we have to put it back onto the area here, and then I think it's a V8 rear muffler that I'm needing, I guess. Rear muffler for a V8. Alright. Let's put on a rear muffler. Then we'll go from there. Oh yeah. Rear muffler for the V8 is gone. So, let's get a new one. All the parts for a V8. Alright, that's going to take too long. Rear muffler. Ten V eight. Go ahead and put that on. It's just missing one over on this side. Okay, so we're going to need another one for that side, I think. The parts have to be 100%. Wow. All right, then. Uh, let's get another one of those. Now 
now can I go ahead and take it over to the test pad and at least find what's all wrong with it? I'm not really sure. I, I don't know if this is going to work. Wow, alright, it actually is working. Well, the brakes are good, that's a good thing. Alright, brakes are not shot. Bit of a mess. Back suspension, bit of a mess. I find everything? No, I've still got parts to discover. That doesn't really surprise me. So let's go ahead and take it out on the test track. See how that went. Definitely found some more parts that were damaged. Again, not a complete surprise. Still some parts undiscovered. I wonder if I can take it to the off-road track. And that will discover anything for me. If not, we shall just bring it back. Return to the garage. <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and put this vehicle onto the lifter. I think we've got a decent amount of parts that we know we need to already replace. So that'll give us a head, or at least a starting point. I 
this cooling here definitely looks like it needs to be replaced. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Then let's pull the radiator. Then that looks okay as far as the actual engine goes. But the actual driving system of the car is completely broken. Alright, let's go ahead and get it up. everything here because there is so much damage. It just seems like it'd be simpler to remove the pieces and just put them all back together at one side. Replace everything that needs to be replaced. Basically removing the whole front end of this car. Uh, if he did this in sand, he should not be driving, probably. But I definitely don't think he should be planning an off-road trip. Alright, now that we've removed the majority of this vehicle on the front end, let's move to the back end. Off, rear axle housing, shock absorber, it's really going to be amazing what we don't take off of this car, I think, in the end. 
Yes, most of it's coming off. Before I do anything else, I'm going to make sure that I have found all the parts that need to be replaced. Are you driving this in? You said the sand. But was it in the ocean? Because the amount of rust here is ridiculous. Alright. Let's go ahead and see if we have everything. Yes, we do have everything now. And everything has to be a hundred percent parts. So let's go with condition. Alright, we already did the rear muffler, so that's good. We're gonna need one, two. Two rubber bushings. We'll do those first. Leaf spring. U-bolts, we're going to need one, two, three, four of those. So rubber bushings and leaf spring U-bolts. Two rubber bushings. Leaf spring U-bolts. There we go. So we'll need four of those. Let's go back to inventory. Get rid of these rubber bushings that are no good. Get rid of the leaf spring U-bolts that are no good. Alright. Bottom suspension nuts. I need two of those. And a solid axle control arm. Bottom suspension. Two of those. I cannot remember <laughs> the other part. My memory is really, really bad at points in time, so I'd just rather come back, make sure that I'm getting the things I need. Solid axle control arm. I need two of those as well. Let's go ahead and get those. Solid axle control. Alright, we can get those then. Leaf spring plate. Only need one of those. Front suspension cross member. Can't believe you broke that. Front suspension cross. Oh, it was supposed to be C. Darn it. That's going to hurt a little bit, so I need to make more, make sure on these things are better. Front suspension cross member C. C. There we 
There we go. Make sure I have it there now. Yes, I do. Need two rear springs. Rear shock absorber B. Make sure that I get the right one this time. Rear shock absorber B. Two of those. Upper suspension arm, I need two of those. I need to make sure that it's the right one this time though. Yep, just the upper suspension, no letters. That goes, that goes, rear axle housing C. Rear axle housing C. And do one at a time, make sure that I'm getting them right. Rear axle housing C. Right there. Boom. Radiator fan housing. At least this one was a bit easier to see than uh, it's been on some of them. Make sure that it's not B. Skittish after that one part there. Alright. But <laughs> considering the front of the car was open the way it was, it was easy enough to see that. Alright. There we go. Steering rack. No letters to it. This is going to hurt his budget. Front drive axle A, two of those, and D, one of them. All right. Just make sure again. Front drive axle. D, I need one of. And A, I need two. Radiator A. A. One of those. Only a few parts left to go here. Front axle, knuckle cover, right. front steering knuckles, C, and front axle knuckle. Two of those. And two of these. Two 
Alright, now in theory, we should have everything we need. Let's go ahead and start putting parts back together here. There's a whole bunch to put. Alright, so the back of the car is put back together for the most part. Which wasn't nearly as bad as the front of the car. Where we had to put the front cross member back in place. The drive axle. Drive shaft. Not putting that back in. That's not proper as it is. We'll put that in. But I was evidently missing some parts here that I did not realize I needed to take apart. I forgot that I have these things over here. I need to use them.
All right. Now we can see here we have a few more parts that we need to replace. We need two front springs, two front double wishbone shock absorbers. Double wishbone shock absorbers. Take two of those. Front spring. Two of those. Rim Modern 06. Rim Modern 06. The 06B. 06-20-0. So it's going to be the 06 20 and I need two of them. I better make sure that's right before I buy Envious. Those are a thousand dollars. 0620 ET0. That is correct. on there, Go over here, put these together, take that, get this one going on there, this one over here, take that, That one. Take that one. Balance this one. Turn back over here. Take that. that we need.
Alright, I do not think I should have an issue this time where it says that I did not replace all the parts because I have replaced pretty much the entire front end with nice parts. So we got a couple of rubber bushings. Ooh, and we need to put three leaf spring plates back on the other on the uh, back of the car. Rubber bushings doesn't surprise me. I sort of knew that I was going to have those. Probably the one on the other side as well. Where am I missing the rubber bushing? Right there. No? It's there. Oh, there it is. But we do need to get those leaf spring plates back in. for some reason before. Interesting. Nice new bolts for it. Right. See what parts we have left. Basically the radiator parts. Let's look at the checklist here. And the radiator is basically what we have leaf spring plate. Oh, so I do have to replace that leaf spring plate that's not 100%. It is 100%. Assuming this is the one. It's 88%. That one's 100%. So we'll just replace this one and uh, go with it. $7 part, down to $6 because of my discount that I get. Not a huge deal. Rather not fight about that. Put in the 100% one. Get the fan housing. That's it. Perfect. 
Let's go ahead and sell that one for three bucks. Cost us only three dollars there. Not gonna be upset about that at all. The front of the car is still missing, but evidently that's that You have to replace body parts. Okay, front bumper, left headlight, front left fender, front license plate. Alright, I'm sort of like, what the heck? Uh, let's see here. How does this work? I haven't tried this before. Front bumper. That's probably in a different location. Body shop. Front bumper. kind of car is this again? Uh, Olsen Grand Club. Olsen Grand Club. Front bumper. Yeah, the front bumper, left headlight, front left fender, front license plate. So front left fender and left headlight are the next. All right, and then a license plate. Where do I find a license plate? Oh, license plate shop. Does it matter what kind? Olsen. Grand. Nope. Alright, well, I'll get a license plate here for it in a minute. Let's go ahead and put on these parts. So they're a different color. And we'll put that headlight in. All right. I need to buy a license plate. And it just wants the basic one, it looks like. You know what? Let's go with a nice one. Let's go with my state here for right now, at least. Where's New Mexico? No New Mexico plate? New South Wales, New Hampshire, there we go, New Mexico, there we are, perfect. We'll go with a New Mexico plate. We'll slap that bad boy on front here. There we go. They got a license plate. That takes care of all their needs. Even got a pretty license plate from New Mexico on it there with the Z symbol and everything. So there we are. Case closed. Finish that order. We made a decent amount of money on it as well. Alright, well if you enjoyed what we did in that episode, please go ahead and click the like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so they're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all again for the next episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018.